Hi there, today I'd like to talk to you about how to fly a helicopter. Why don't we quickly hop in there and I'll show you how it works. Okay, now that we're in the helicopter, I'd like to talk about the different controls that we have. There's three of them for the helicopter. The first one is my left hand over here, and this is called the collective stick, okay? So what actually happens with this one, I can raise this collective stick and I can lower it back down again, and the pitch angle of each rotor blade is actually increasing and decreasing as I raise and lower this collective, okay? So collectively, they call it the collective because collectively, all three blades in this helicopter are increasing pitch, and then decreasing pitch as I raise and lower this stick, okay? What that does, the more pitch that you, the more pitch angle that you have on a rotor blade, the more lift it creates, and then the helicopter is gonna go up. So, to make this into simple terms, when I raise this collective, the helicopter is gonna go up. When I lower the collective, the helicopter is gonna go back down. Okay, so the second control I'd like to talk about, this is the most complex control here, and that's the cyclic. So you use the cyclic with your right hand, and this one is what makes the helicopter fly forwards, backwards, left or right, okay? So all I need to simply do is I push this cyclic forward, or I pull it back, or I push it left, or to the right here, and what's actually happening is cyclically, they call it a cyclic, because cyclically, as the blades spin around in a circle, um, they change their pitch angle based on where they are in that rotor disc, okay? So if I push the cyclic all the way forward, the blade over there is starting to decrease its pitch, it reaches its lowest pitch angle at the front of the helicopter, and that blade is literally flapping down or flapping back up as it goes to the back of the rotor disc, okay? And then it starts to increase the pitch angle as it comes around to this side of the helicopter, and it reaches its maximum maximum angle at the very back and the, and the blade is flapped fully up at the back. So if you think about each blade individually spinning around in a really, really fast circle, it creates a rotor disc and now that disc, wherever I point this cyclic, left or right, forward or back, that rotor disc is gonna follow that cyclic control and that's where the helicopter is gonna fly, okay? So if the rotor disc tilts forward, the helicopter will fly forward. If the rotor disc tilts backwards, the helicopter is gonna fly backwards, okay? So this one is um, the most complex because this is the one that's actually balancing the helicopter in one position. This is the hardest one to learn how to fly. Okay, now lastly, we have the pedal control input. What happens is the helicopter um, has what's called torque. So in this helicopter, it's a European helicopter, so the blades are spinning around clockwise the clockwise rotation causes a counterclockwise uh, torque effect. So the helicopter, in this one specifically, the torque effect is causing the helicopter to want to spin around to the left. So if I were to pick this helicopter up in the hover, it would naturally just start spinning out of control to the left, and obviously that's not gonna be very helpful for us. So what we need to do is we need to have these pedal controls. They control the tail rotor in the back, and they, they control the pitch angle, similarly to the collective that we talked about, the pitch angle of the, uh, of the t um, blades on the tail rotor. And so if I were to use my pedals here, and I were to push right pedal, that's gonna increase the pitch angle of the tail rotor blades in the back, and now I'm gonna actually be able to counteract that torque, and I'm gonna be able to stop it, and I'm gonna be able to create the perfect balance between the tail rotor authority and and the balance of the torque, and then I'm gonna be able to sit the helicopter perfectly nice and straight without spinning left or right. Now, if I were to use more right pedal, the helicopter's gonna spin around to the right. If I were to use more left pedal, or actually, I could technically say, if I were to just ease off my right pedal, then I'm gonna allow the helicopter to spin around to the left, okay? So I can control the rotation in one horizontal plane, left and right, by using my left and right pedals and that'll control the tail rotor in the back. Now, helicopters are powered by different types of engines. This one happens to be a piston engine. You can also have a turbine or a jet engine uh, for a helicopter. Now, um, this one here has a torque gauge, similar to pretty much all the turbine helicopters out there. So what happens is, on, on the collective, I have a throttle control as well, okay? Now, something that's unique about helicopters is they actually run at a fixed RPM, uh, very unlike a, a car or any other um, type of machine, even like an airplane. Um, so it's a fixed RPM, meaning uh, you usually have a governor control that controls your RPM. I have this uh, throttle control right here, so I can roll on throttle once I've started the helicopter, and the governor control will take it over. It's gonna bring it up to full revs for me. And then when I raise and lower that collective, the engine is actually producing more or less torque. And that has, I have a torque gauge here that shows me how much torque I'm using. And uh, typically the, the maximum that you can use in a helicopter is 100% torque. And so you can see here, as I raise and lower the collective, I can increase and decrease my torque setting right here up to a maximum of 100%. So if I was on takeoff, um, depending on how heavy I was, I could be watching 
watching that gauge there and I could be monitoring how much power I'm able to pull and I can pull, pull, pull all the way up to 100% but I can't exceed 100%. Sometimes the 100% limit is due to the engine, simply can't produce any more power and sometimes it's a gearbox limitation so they don't want you to pull more power than that because it's gonna be over torquing your gearbox. That wraps up the basics of how to fly a helicopter. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, give it a thumbs up. You can visit our website if you wanna learn more about flying helicopters. Uh, it's gonna be linked below, it's bchelicopters.com. Uh, follow us on Instagram if you're not already at BC Helicopters. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you later.